That guy, Young Thug, is one of the biggest names in hip hop, which many fans say is more than music. Hip hop is often described as a culture that started about 30 years ago, born of the need for urban young people to share their experiences and how they felt about them. But a lot of people, including yours truly, believe that that music, the majority of it, that we consider hip hop today has run so far off the rails to the point where many believe that it is destructive and creating destructive behavior. Well, that's my opinion. So that's why we invited the experts, those that understand it probably better than I could ever understand it, to talk about this thing called hip hop today is Dwayne Michael. Yes. Dwayne, thank you for joining us. Thank founder you for of me. Should Could Dream Tour. Yes. And student activist Colin Bird. You saw him in our Your Voice inaugural show. Colin is among many things, Mr. Black Student Union at the University of Maryland and chair of the membership committee of the NAACP's University of Maryland College Park Branch. Let's, let's get this out of the way. We know there are a few of them that produce good rap music, yes, yes. good lyrics, Adam. good yes. values, yes. good virtues. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about yes. today because they're in the minority. Yes. Talk about this music and the impact that it's having. It can have a terrible impact if used the wrong way. But if but if if it's used in a positive way, like what we do with our Should Could Dream Tour, you can inspire a whole nation to work hard, never settle, dream big, and to accomplish extraordinary success. That's another show. <laughs> Tell us how it's used bad so we can learn, parents and young people, the dangers and what you can become if you don't really understand it, if you don't have somebody at home saying, while you listen to this, don't become this. Yes. yes. Talk about that. Well, hip-hop, in a sense, they're just actors. And I feel as though that they're just putting on a front sometimes to just prove their point. It's almost like in acting for a certain movie. Someone may play a role. And I, and, and I feel as though that in the rap culture, a lot of these people are, are just playing certain roles. And those roles aren't being shown well. Like Young Thug is not a great representation of what hip hop is. We just heard some of the things that he says. I'm a stoner. Terrible thing. We don't want to, you know, encourage marijuana use. But that's just one individual who is playing a role that's not necessarily <laughs> showing what we really are as people. You know, Colin, um, and I know you say Colin. I find that interesting because I remember Snoop Dogg said once, yeah, I produced this, but I would never allow my children exactly. to listen to it. Yeah. Talk about this. Are but, they acting? It's, it's good enough for the public, but not good enough for their own family members? I would say they are acting. Yeah. And what I would say as a whole is that hip-hop has a negative, overwhelmingly negative impact on young people, especially young black people, young black males in particular. The reason that it has an especially negative impact on young black males is that these hip-hop artists are predominantly black. They're predominantly black males. And so these individuals, these young people are most likely to personally identify with them. And so the, the fast life that these rappers talk about a lot of times becomes a fantasy for these youth, for these young people. And then when it becomes a fantasy, it turns into a reality. And then the fast life in reality, when you really do live it, a lot of times often means a fast death financially, economically, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally. And therein lies the problem. Yeah, but I, I also want to say that I think that hip-hop has done phenomenal things for race relations at the very same time. Because, you know, it's very hard for, if you go to a Jay-Z concert now, 75% of the people are going to be white. So it brings people together at the same time. Music is the one international language that we all you speak. Know, that's interesting. You're shaking your head. Tell us why. I'm shaking my head for a number of reasons. First of all, I think when people argue that hip hop as a whole is good because by, by cherry picking the rare instances in which it does elevate our young people to a higher level of consciousness, to a higher level of social responsibility, mm -hmm. I think that is the height of a disingenuous argument. It is akin to saying that I crack you. cocaine is good for you because it gives you energy. Yes, it does give you energy, but when you do a holistic analysis of the impact of crack cocaine, the costs of smoking crack cocaine significantly outweigh any marginal benefit gain from increased energy. You see the promotion of misogyny. You see the promotion of violence. You see the promotion, in fact, of aggression. He talked about racial t uh, improving racial relations 
but you actually see the promotion of aggression towards police officers. And sometimes when you listen to, for example, NWA back in the 1990s, they had a song called F the Police. Now, how in turn does that inform the interactions that our young black males are going to end up having with police officers? And a lot of times what happens is ultimately there's an, an inflammation in racial tensions and there's an inflammation and tension between our young people and the law enforcement authorities that are supposed to be protecting oh, okay. their community. I want to see when we come back from our up next feature whether we have a little time to revisit this. Maybe not, but we'll see. Up next, our feature, Maurice Snakes. Don't go away. <laughs>